back to big corn today, but it's quite windy out there. It's choppy, so half an hour, a very bumpy boat ride. This little piggy might get seasick. Thank you. Cheers, dude. <laughs> the steeds for the day. You. <laughs> when was the last time you rode a bike? <laughs> Not that long ago. All the year. Okay. That's fine. Cool. I mean, riding a bike is like riding a bike. That's what they say. Great, you come to Big Corn, just rent some bikes, like two two dollars an hour? Yeah. No, two dollars an hour. Beep, beep, beep. My seat's a bit low. I know I've got short legs, but this is ridiculous. I've got short legs. Don't make me say it twice. Good as spots to stop. Oh, there's any. This place. Yeah. 
Which one? I know. That one? It's not vanilla. <laughs> it's definitely it's not vanilla. <laughs> Very fancy. So as I was editing that, I realized that I hadn't actually given much information. So when you land in Big Corn, there's a taxi rank and there's no sort of variation in pricing. It's always a dollar to get to the dock, which is really, really good. And then I can't remember what the panga is, but it's, it's negligible. It's a few dollars for a half an hour ride. Oh, and with the panga, we were told that you had to get there early, but obviously there's less tourists at the moment. It's a, on a first come, first serve basis. So if you're going in another time in the future when you know tourism is back to normal, I think you do want to get there maybe an hour, hour and a half before it leaves because otherwise there just won't be space. I mean, the pangas that we were on were almost completely full. So that's with very few tourists. So maybe, yeah, an hour and a half beforehand, get to the dock, buy your ticket, grab a drink and wait. And we spent a week in Little Corn and then a couple of days in Big Corn. And I think that's what most people do actually. Both islands are really well known for scuba diving and snorkeling. But other than that, it's just, you know, crystal clear water, beaches and relaxing. So after a week, we were pretty ready to go actually. Um, we booked our flight through Paraiso, which is the hostel that we were staying in on Big Corn. So that cost $180. And with that, you get two nights stay and you can either stay when you arrive on Big Corn or you can stay when you come back from Little Corn to Big Corn because obviously you have to fly from Big Corn. You can't fly from Little Corn. I really, really enjoyed cycling around Big Corn Island. It only took maybe an hour. It was picturesque very little traffic and it was a nice little ride. Next to Paddy, so there's two sort of sunken, they're not really ships, but boats within, you know, 80 meters walking distance. But actually on the north side of the island, there's a bigger sort of pirate ship, I guess. We didn't actually manage to get to it, but the people staying next to us went and they said that they, you can see the outline of the ship and you know there's cannons that you can see as well which is sounds really cool but we didn't manage to do it is it worth it there's a few people who have asked you know is it worth the expense obviously little corn is more expensive there's no atms on little corn so you should definitely take cash from big corn to little corn because if you use your card some places are charging like 10 or 15 percent charge on cards so i would take a lot of cash well not a lot take enough enough cash but is it worth it yes i think if you're in nicaragua it's definitely somewhere to go it's completely different from the pacific side people speak creole it's caribbean it feels like you're in a different country and it's obviously an incredibly beautiful place so if you can stomach the let's call it 200 bucks to get over there and the more expensive accommodation um, then yeah I'll go you don't have to spend I think we were spending $90 a night at uh, Little Corn bed and breakfast you can stay in the beach shacks which are $25 a night and I mean some guy offered us a room for $7 a night but I don't think that that would have been particularly comfortable we opted for the bed and breakfast because it was you know a holiday within a holiday so we thought we'd splash out a bit. But yeah, there's, there's nurse sharks, there's uh, eagle rays, there's a lot of fish on the reef. So going there, it's all about the snorkeling and all about the water. And that's about it. A week is enough. Um, after a week, we were ready to go. 
and I hope that's useful. Good place. Back to our buddy.